Hello YouTube, it's William with WC Knives. Uh, as the title indicates, <coughs> excuse me, this is a brief uh, look back at uh, WC Knives and and how far we've come and and our and uh, anyway, just a, a appreciation. Now, before I get started on this, I want to I want to make sure that everyone understands that that I am not. This is not an intention uh, or intended to be boastful. It is, uh, it is this, that is not the intent of this video. Because everything I have, talent, skill, um, it comes from God. It, it doesn't come from me. <coughs> so, and as far as we've come, it's been the blessings of God that has brought it this far. So the reason, the reason for the video is this month, uh, last year, was the first knife that I made in my life. November of 2012. Um, I wanted a crook knife, so I ordered one from a, from a store, internet store in Canada. When I got it, I was completely disappointed. Now it was a, it was a good. It was a good crook knife. Uh, it was just a blade, no handle. You had to make your own handle. Not from the quality of it. It's just the design of it. Uh, I didn't think that it it was not the way. It was not the crook knife that it, it, that Premier's used. <laughs> so it was too short. It was it was only about that long. It it, it really wasn't a, a very good crook knife. It's more of a a hook knife. But. Um, <laughs> So, the more I looked at it, the more I decided, hey, I can make one of those. Um, so, I did some research. I, I looked on YouTube, and there's a lot of good videos on YouTube uh, about how to do things, just about anything you want to do. There's something on YouTube that will show you how to do it in various different ways, too. Um, it's just a great, great product, uh, YouTube is. I hope Google don't mess it up. but. Anyway, um, so I, I watched several YouTube videos and um, did some research on the internet. So I made the first knife, was a crook knife. After about three or four different tries at heat treating, I finally, finally got it to where it would work fairly well. Um, and so that encouraged me to try a regular knife. And I made two or three. All these were made out of files. That's the only steel that I had. So I learned how to anneal the steel and get it to where I could work with it. And then, um, then harden it. All I had was a little forty-dollar bench sander from uh, Harbor Freight, and I used it until just a few weeks ago when I got my bigger sander. But um, I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment to make knives. I use little simple, simple stuff like bench grinders from Harbor Freight. Uh, a Craftsman sand, belt sander is what I use now. Uh, I mean, you get them at Sears. <laughs> so, anyway, the first couple of knives I made, I used them myself. And then some family and friends saw them and they said, hey, I want to buy that. And so it kind of got me to thinking, that, hey, you could probably sell these. So I started listing a few on eBay, and as soon as I'd list them, I would sell them. Um, I would have fifty, sixty dollars a piece, no cheese, and they was just going like hotcakes. Uh, there was a guy in California bought, I think he, at last count I had, he bought seven or eight of them. Um, so people were just loving them. Um, so anyway, um, I decided that. I go into marketing, and marketing is just so expensive. And so, how would I market my knives? And I, I got addicted to YouTube at that point, and so I decided, well, I just get me a little cheap camera, and I'll make a few videos. And uh, not only to market knives, but I'm also a published author. And I thought maybe it'd be a good, be a good idea to get on YouTube so I could get my my books out there. Um, and if you want to know more about my books, then I'll. I'll put a uh, website down below so you can go to that website and you can find out more about them. But it's just williamgcollins.com. 
So, once I got on YouTube, I got on YouTube about, I think it was uh, March or April of this year. Since that time, I have gotten, I think the, I think we're up to 142 subscribers. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Um, I, I, it just blows my mind when I stop and think about it. From YouTube, I met people like the Moody Bobby One. Um, just go on and on and on about people I met on YouTube that that have purchased knives and 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 not only one but they would buy one and they would come back and they'd buy two then they'd come back and probably order a custom knife or two and it's just the the response has just been phenomenal uh, in fact I had a guy last uh, couple of weeks ago sent me a, a message and said that he had purchased a Skinner off of eBay and he had just uh, field dressed a 10 point buck and he says the best knife he ever used and he wanted me to make him a uh, a boning knife so I did that so I mean it was just reviews after reviews after reviews best knife I've ever used um, the most comfortable knife I've ever used um, hardest knife I've ever used <laughs> as far as far as steel but you know the the response has been phenomenal uh, and most people that buy a knife like I say they don't buy just one they'll come back and they buy three or four um, matter of fact I had a guy in in Florida who purchased a a little um, carver off of eBay uh, after he did that he he ordered three custom knives and um, a hook knife two uh, Two crook knives and uh, a mini uh, mini parang that he designed and I made for him. So it's it's the response has been phenomenal and I'm really humble about it. Um, like I say, it's just God has blessed my hands to make make these knives. That I, I, that's the only thing I can figure out because you know they just after I sat back and look at a knife that I made, especially the one I'm going to show you here in a minute. It wasn't me. <laughs> I tell you that. But uh, anyway, um, so just a brief overview. Uh, this month would be a year that I've been in business. And looking back at how far we've come has just been phenomenal. And I thank you guys out there for your orders. I thank you for your encouragement, your comments. Um, just it, it just means the world to me. Um, I haven't counted the knives that I've sold in the past year, but if you go back through my videos or in, and look at the past work, just just the ones that I have pictures of, it's getting close to a hundred knives in the past year that I've sold, made and sold. So it's um, it's it's been just a one-man shop. I do everything myself, so that's a lot of work. So now on to the knife that I'm going to show you now. Um, <clears throat> this was one of those guys that, in the UK, uh, he he found out about me through the Moody Bobby one. Uh, he, Bobby had purchased a couple of knives off of eBay, then I made him a couple of custom knives to his specs, and uh, he learned about me from the Moody Bobby's one's videos. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. But uh, so he bought a couple of knives off of uh, off of me. And it has turned into the knife that you're about to see is this, is this custom order. It's either the 11th or 12th knife that he's purchased from me. Um, he likes them that much. And, and it's not only been for himself, it's been for his family. His dad's got one, his brother's got two or three. Um, friends have got them. But this one is his personal knife that I made for him. And um, it took me about two months to get everything together where I could make it for him. But Andy, this is your knife, brother. It has maple with mosaic pins. It's kind of a tiger stripe bird's eye maple with an antique finish. Has uh, kind of a brick red G10 liners. convex full convex grind
thumb scallops. And when I look at this knife and see how far I've come since uh, since we started last November, it just um, I'm just humble. I really am. And uh, so again, hats off to you people out there. All my uh, friends that I've met since we started, uh, I really appreciate it. Dean, Travis, you know who you are. Um, I just go on and on and on. Kurt, um, just too many to name. Uh, it's just, uh, I do appreciate it. It doesn't go unnoticed. And uh, again, this is, this is uh, where we're at at this point. Now, I'm just kind of anxious to see what we're going to be in the next year. So, thanks folks, appreciate it. Um, just a brief video of, of where we come and where we at. So until the next video, get out there, get out in the great outdoors, start to cool off. Here it is anyway, I'm sure it's getting cold up north, but uh, anyway, it's, it's getting late fall. Get out there, go camping. Go hunting, go canoeing, fishing. <laughs> Just get out in the great outdoors. If you do, take uh, plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. Thanks, folks. Till the next one. Bye.